Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 311 Griffin YouTube channel. I want to talk about some some issues I'm seeing with the AI, uh, the Air AI here in DCS. Um, first, I do want to complain about the AI a little bit, not too hard, but um, it, I want to say it's difficult to build AI, and I think we all know this. It's it's really difficult to try to make them make realistic decisions, have settings so that they're not too difficult at first, but you can also make them more like a human pilot. Uh, you know, once you're kind of used to it and you want to challenge. And I think Eagle Dynamics has done a fairly good job with a lot of that. Of course, there's always the questions of can the AI see you, quote unquote, and if it can't see you, does it still know where you are? What about the sensors in these complex systems in the aircraft? Is it even using those? Um, I, I don't know the answers to those questions, but um, obviously the AI is a little bit quirky and it's difficult to make good AI and things like that. Um, the thing I want to complain about, and I think most people would agree, is the, the just the fact that the AI in DCS don't suffer from the same limitations that you do when it comes to performing the aircraft. So they can lose and gain energy so rapidly that a lot of these planes are flying around like UFOs. And it seems to have gotten worse lately. Now it could be that my flying has gotten a little bit worse and so I'm noticing it more. Um, maybe I've regressed a little bit, but I don't feel like I have. I feel like I'm actually a better pilot now than I used to be. But but now I'm seeing aircraft that I used to be able to beat on ACE AI level pretty easily, and now they're just flipping around like UFOs, or a little bit more like more so. And I, I'd go into some specific uh, examples, but I think that this will suffice. Just saying, you know, the fact that they can gain and uh, they can spend energy and gain it back so much faster than you in any aircraft um, that it kind of makes it so that you know if you're in an aircraft that has a distinct advantage at certain speeds over another aircraft you no longer really have that advantage um, or they can exploit gimmicks against you like going vertical and stalling out and then if you try to follow them if you don't try to follow them the fight goes back to somewhat neutral um, if you do try to follow them, you're at a distinct disadvantage because you're both going to stall out and then they're going to they're gonna be back at corner speed in no time and you're still going to be fighting even though you've got your nose down. You're going to be fighting for it. So um, the trade-out of energy is just so much easier for the AI. They lose it fast, they gain it fast, and I think that that needs to be fixed if at all possible. So that's not what this video is really about. I just wanted to complain about it for a minute, but didn't want to spend too much time doing it. So, uh, in this particular, in these particular cases, I was just noticing, specifically against the Hornet and the Tomcat, that they were making really bad decisions. So I'm in the the Thunder, I'm in the JF-17, and this Hornet, this is numerous fights. It would do this, and this is Ace AI. It would just get really low and really slow, and a lot of times it was just that extreme alpha with, in full afterburner, uh, 20 feet off the water. And it's just tooling around down there, making little circles. Um, you know, like like it. I think I think the AI was. I don't know. They were trying not to crash or something. But the AI can't make the decision to level the wings a little bit, gain some energy back or some speed, and then start flying normally again. But just over and over and over, and it's hard to shoot. I mean, part of the reason I keep missing is I'm I'm not used to the JF-17s. Uh, Pipper, and, and I don't know if something changed since the last time I flew it or what, but that guy almost met his shadow down there. Um, but I think I could have killed this guy in the Hornet or the Viper because I'm just better with the Pipper, I suppose. But uh, I kept making passes trying to get him, and it's just hard to do because you're trying not to crash, you're trying not to go too fast, but you don't want to go too slow. Um, so, anyway, you see how, like, that's just extreme alpha. And he's kicking up dust in some cases. You know, and then here I almost crashed. So, like I said, this was numerous fights. I, it would eventually go this way. It didn't always go this way, but there were a lot of fights where the F-18 would just get really low and crank around like that. And uh, and eventually he might, if I got far enough away, he might level off a touch and gain some energy back and start chasing me again. But um, it was just odd and kind of took, took the fun out of the fights. Now, here he kind of did the same thing. Um, but uh, but it ended a little bit differently. He didn't quite do it as well. So I'm just trying to maintain energy uh, as much as I can. I, I kind of uh, went a little bit lower than I intended to, had to adjust. 
but as I pull around, he's, he's getting really, really low. And, uh, and then, yeah, he just splashes down. So maneuvering kill there. And then um, this is an ace Tomcat. Same deal. I'm just trying to manage my energy the best I can, do excursions to get in position. I had kind of successfully done that. And a lot of times when I did it, they would just full afterburner and burn away from me, even though I'm in full afterburner too. Um, but he, he uh, in this case, I got close enough that he started trying to do the maneuvering. Uh, which, again, they can maneuver really hard and not lose as much energy as you can. But he, uh, he, he puffed, got a little puff of dirt down there where he impacted the forest. So another maneuvering kill. That one I'm less worried about because that's something a real human might do if they, if they just kind of lose track of how high up they are. Um, but it happened in so many fights within an hour period that I was just a little bit concerned. Something's going on with the AI. And uh, they don't seem to be making quality adult decisions. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's that for this video. I'm actually working on another video, but I wanted to put this out real quick um, just to talk about it. So what do you guys think? What are you guys seeing? Uh, are you guys seeing a lot of maneuvering kills against Ace AI as well? Um, make bad decisions being made, things like that. Uh, let me know. And uh, as always, happy flying. Thanks for watching.